Connecting to your child's education has never been easier. How Vancouver Public Schools is putting information right in your hand. Plus, you can always make up a day. It's hard to uh, fix an injured person. Snow shuts down schools across the region. How the district makes the call to close its doors. And you have to stand up for each other. What schools are teaching in class to prevent bullying on the playground. Hello and welcome to In the Know, I'm Nick Vol. Parents, you have an all new way to keep tabs on your child's education. Vancouver Public Schools unveils a new app for mobile phones and devices. As we learn correspondent Mark Ray reports, it puts vital information right at your fingertips. Education is constantly evolving, but one thing never changes. Education is a partnership. That's the best environment for kids to learn. So it, a critical component for most of us um, in education is reaching out to parents and making sure we're a team. Schools have traditional routes of communication. Newsletters are common, class newsletters are common, we make phone calls. But new technology opens up new avenues to parents. 56% of adult Americans own smartphones. With that in mind, Vancouver Public Schools has developed a mobile app that puts information right in parents' pockets and purses. So this is our effort to continually engage with our parents in an increasingly digital environment. The app, which is available for the iPhone, iPad, and Android devices, puts all of the district's online information in one easy-to-find place. No more hunting for the school newsletter. Parents can check their kids' grades, see what's for lunch in the cafeteria, check the school's calendar, and read school district news. It's literally all right there in one place. The app makes student information available to all parents. It features dozens of languages and doesn't require a home computer. A lot of people who may not have internet access at home do often have a smartphone, which is their only internet access. It's already immensely popular, with more than 700 downloads in the first two days alone. For In the Know, I'm Mark Ray. Thanks, Mark. Again, the app is free and can be downloaded at the Apple App Store or on the Google Play Store. You can learn more about how to download and use the app on the district website. Just go to www.vansd.org. The superintendent of Vancouver Public Schools is honored for his commitment to modern technology. Dr. Steve Webb has been given a Tech Savvy Superintendent Award by the publication eSchool News. He's one of just 10 school leaders from around the nation to be recognized. But he's quick to point out this award really isn't about him. This award really is about a shared vision on behalf of our community's children and the ability of people to come together to operationalize that vision in a way that prepares our graduates for post-secondary success. And it should be a source of pride for everyone. This isn't about the superintendent, it really is about Team VPS. Since he took over the district in 2008, Dr. Webb has pushed several initiatives to get technology into the hands of students. Students in Vancouver get a long weekend after a winter storm closes schools across our area. Several inches of snow fell across Vancouver, followed by freezing rain. All of that made for treacherous driving conditions. Vancouver Public Schools made the decision to cancel school on Friday and Monday. The district didn't come to the decision lightly. We have to basically make a decision by 5 a.m. So we're out about 2 o'clock or so driving roads, uh, trying to get a handle on the weather and then predict what's going on. And uh, you know those weather guys got it pretty good because they're right half the time, wrong half the time. We need to be right. Because no buses were on the road, no accidents were reported. When inclement weather threatens to close schools, you can find out the very latest at the school district website. Just look for the emergency closure information link on the top right-hand corner of the homepage. It's also available at flashalert.net and on the district's new mobile app for phones and tablets. Bowlers from Vancouver make their mark at the state tournament. At the 3A level, Fort Vancouver High School finished fourth in state, followed closely by Columbia River High School in fifth. Individually, Dakota Varela of Hudson's Bay High School finished third overall. At the 4A level, Skyview senior Madison Crockett finished second. Madison took the state title last year. 
Congratulations to all of these athletes. Vancouver Public Schools continues its mission to end bullying at school. As Amanda Richter reports, a big part of that initiative is preventing the bullying from happening in the first place. Bullying can happen anywhere, online or even on the playground, but teaching kids what to do about it starts in the classroom. At Peter S. Ogden Elementary School, bullying isn't just something students fear, it's something they address head on. Bullying is a way that other people can be hurt in a physical way or in just, just in a non-physical way. This week we're going to focus on the role of the bystander. In this lesson, school psychologist Teresa Vance teaches students about bystanders, people who witness another person getting bullied and have to decide what to do about it. You can help them um, get through it and go tell a teacher about it so that it won't happen anymore. Our goal is to teach the students how to become this culture or community of upstanders who are always standing up to bullying, um, do not allow that to be a part of our school culture, and are always part of the solution. Creating awareness and giving kids concrete steps to take empowers the kids to take action. It makes me feel kind of better because if I see it happen, I can go um, do something about it. There are consequences for students who bully others, as well as intervention counseling. Our hope is that, of course, then the behavior doesn't repeat because we were able to use that opportunity for the students to grow and learn and understand the situation that had occurred. The school staff has set clear standards for students. They know what's expected and how they should behave, and so they can fit right in with other kids. This program is producing results at Ogden and throughout Vancouver Public Schools. We have seen a reduction in bullying behaviors. We have also seen an increase in student self-report that they feel safe and that they feel respected while they're here at Ogden, which is really the most important. From the kids' perspective, it all boils down to one simple concept. I wouldn't like it people bullying me, so we have to stand up for each other. For In the Know, I'm Amanda Richter. Two elementary schools join an exclusive club that aims to point students towards a college education. First, Martin Luther King Elementary got the official word that it has been accepted into the No Excuses University program. It's a comprehensive college readiness model that begins in kindergarten. King has been working for three years to be accepted into the program. We're excited because that's being recognized by others, and we know that it's already been recognized by Vancouver Public Schools, but it's rec now recognized by others across the nation. And so now our call is to uh, make sure that that happens for kids. The program's goal is to prepare kids academically and mentally for college and let them know that it's achievable. School staff put together a video as part of the application process. If you're watching on Comcast, stay tuned after this episode to see it. King isn't the only school accepted into No Excuses University. Sarah J. Anderson Elementary also earned its way in. Eleanor Roosevelt Elementary is also working on its application. Culinary arts students from Fort Vancouver High School take first place in a cooking competition. Daisy Vargas, Joey Walker, Christian Okrati, and Jonah Esposito each took home a $1,000 scholarship from the Oregon Culinary Institute. They beat three other teams from around our area to win the first annual High School Kitchen Ninja cooking competition. In addition to a test of knowledge and skills, the students prepared a winning breakfast dish. Congratulations to all the young chefs. We are out of time, but before we go, remember that you can see more news from Vancouver Public Schools on our YouTube channel. That's www.youtube.com vansdtv. You can see it there on your screen. Thanks for watching In the Know. I'm Nick Bull.